Rebel BJP MLA and former Health Minister Sudeep Roy Burman submitted down his as step down rather as an MLA today. Now another BJP MLA Ashish Saha also stepped down along with Roy Burman. Now after submitting his resignation to the Assembly Speaker Ratan Chakraborty, Roy Burman said he had taken the step in the interest of the people of the state. Now Roy Burman also made it amply clear that he will serve all ties with the BJP. Now making a direct attack on Chief Minister Biplab Deb, Roy Burman said that the BJP government has failed to deliver the goods and that he was relieved to step down as an MLA. Yeah, we have breathed a sigh of relief that we have resigned because this government has miserably failed to deliver the goods. This government is only one man's voice is being heard and carried out all orders. No legislature, no minister can exercise their authority or power. Their orders are not being carried out. A reign of terror has been let loose across the state. Democracy has been throttled. The voices of the media have been suppressed, tortured, oppressed. Now it's our duty to revive democracy in our state and ensure that all the democratic institutions run in accordance to the, according to the Constitution. And that's the reason, though it's a democratic country, but the mind thought is completely autocratic. And with this autocratic mind set up, a state can never prosper. A state can never develop. Now, Roy Burman also informed that he is travelling to New Delhi today. However, there is not much clarity on his next move. We, uh, uh, let's, we are going to Delhi right now. We are running short of time. So, uh, let's see. Let's go to Delhi. And uh, we will weigh all options. We are keeping everything open. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. So, you will have talk with uh, which parties? Because let's see. Let's see. You'll, you'll come to know about the development. Don't worry. We'll be returning on 12th of this month. So, on Saturday next. So, we'll be, meet you and brief you accordingly. Well, at the minute, I am joined by our correspondent from Tripura, Pinaki Das, over the phone. Well, Pinaki, big political development. Sudeep Roy Burman quits. Can this be termed as a big blow to the BJP or was the party mentally prepared for it? was well apprehended that Sudhir Verman and Ashish Shah and maybe some of other followers will follow him. This was apprehended, but uh, the, the date uh, was not uh, confirmed. But the way they were moving, the moves they were making, the uh, allegations they were bringing against the BGP, it was clear that they were not happy the way the party was functioning. And today they have made clear allegation that it's a single party, uh, single leadership uh, a party over here and democracy, they have brought the allegation that democracy is at stake and, and people, the, uh, the expectation of the people uh, of, of bringing BJP to power uh, was not fulfilled. That is their allegation. They were bringing all this allegation uh, earlier also. We have seen even before the uh, recent civic poll, they had uh, categorically, they had uh, done press conference and they uh, brought all these allegations. Uh, but uh, but uh, we were uh, waiting when the date would be they would leave the party. That is not clear. But at the same time, they had kept the option uh, uh, open, uh, whether they are joining any other party or uh, they are forming their own uh, party like uh, Pratur Kisha Teparma had uh, done. So they have kept both options clear. But going to Delhi, uh, it may be, uh, it is learned that uh, they are having talk with the grand old party, Congress. To, which is their original party to whom uh, Sudhi Prai Burman used to belong. All right, so Pinaki, not much clarity on Sudeep Roy Burman's next move. Will he join any national party or should we expect the launch of a new party altogether in Tripura? See, both options are, are depend. It, uh, in politics, nothing is uh, certain. It is always, uh, uh, the, uh, it depends on the situation and, and, and it depends 
on uh, what uh, condition Congress also keeps. Because he left the Congress on the allegation that Congress, uh, with the help of the Delhi leadership of Congress, CPM was in power in Tripura. That was the allegation they were categorically bringing against the Congress leadership. Now, uh, going to Delhi, uh, what we have learned, he is going to meet some of the top rank Congress leader, including Priyanka Gandhi and probably Rahul Gandhi also. And, and so, so what is the condition Congress also keeps? Uh, that will matter. Because, uh, and we, most probably, he is coming back on 12th. Mm -hmm. And after that, the course of his future plan that can be in. But he has kept both options clear. But uh, one thing uh, we, uh, uh, it is clear that he is not joining most probably Trinamool. Had he joined Trinamool, then he would have gone to Kolkata and uh, meet the Supremo. But in, as I say, in politics, nothing is final. It is, is on the last moment only we can see what he does. All right, fair enough, Pinaki. But what does Sudeep Roy Burman's resignation mean to the political scenario in Tripura? See, uh, I just spoke with the speaker, Mr. Ratan Chakravarti, and he has clearly said in the resignation he had not mentioned anything, the, but he only mentioned that it is not possible for him to uh, be in this body. But later speaking to uh, to the media, uh, uh, he said he brought the allegation which I had mentioned. And, and, and Sudeep Rai Burman is a, is a leader of who have his own followers everywhere because he is into politics for more than two and a half decades. And his father was the former uh, chief minister of Tripura. So he has his followers. And obviously, any MLA, uh, the two MLAs today leaving the BGP, it is a matter of worry for BGP, for any political party should be. But uh, Sudhik Pai Burman's, from his moves, it was apprehended that he would leave the party. So party also, I believe, was mentally prepared for this. Uh, and, and the speaker has categorically said that we are now studying his resignation and we have not yet accepted his resignation. I got received it and, and, and after the examination, it will be finalized. And he has also spoken about another uh, uh, BJP ally, uh, Bisho Ketu De Burma, who had resigned earlier. On that mm -hmm. also, it is being examined and he has been summoned on coming 14th. And, and after that, the final move will be taken by the speaker. But the speaker said that in such a situation, elections are to be taken within six months and everything depends on the election commission. Exactly. We would need to wait and watch interesting political development in Tripura as the state goes to the assembly elections in 2023. Our correspondent there, Pinaki Das from Agartala, thank you so much for your inputs.